Hi guys, welcome to today's video. This is a highly requested video on how to use the Magpie Inkies. Uh, Magpie brought these inkies out a little while ago. They're really great for creating these kind of watercolour um, looks or obviously marble effects and different nail art and things like that. Um, so this was highly requested by Facebook and Instagram when I asked recently. Um, so obviously I had to make sure this was the first thing that I did. Um, so if you want to find out how to use the Magpie inkies then just stay tuned. So to start off with I've just done two coats of Plain Jane and obviously I've cured both of those in my lamp for 60 seconds. So the first thing that you want to do is to wipe off the inhibition layer from the gel colour. I do recommend using a lighter colour um, if possible because these probably won't show up on a dark colour but you definitely need to wipe the inhibition layer off. So I'm just going to start with one of the inkies. I've got pink here. So I've given it a bit of a shake just to make sure that all the um, all the pigment and everything in the ink is um, fully dispersed within the bottle. So I'm just going to wipe off a little bit from my brush, but then I'm literally just going to start dragging it and blotting it onto the nail, just like that. The inkies are so easy to use, they just kind of do the work for you. And obviously if you do more of the kind of blotting, if you get a bit more on your brush and you kind of do that blotting motion, which is just kind of a dab, obviously the ink disperses a little bit more. So then I'm just going to grab deep red and just start kind of filling in the spaces. But you can see they all kind of mesh together, but that's kind of the look that we want, especially if you're doing sort of a full nail like that. You can see that deep red has just dispersed on it on its own and done it all for me. Then I'm going to get the red and just kind of add more. And you can see it's dispersing all the pink together and everything. It's just, these are just really fun to play around with. And I'm going to go back in with my pink and sort of just try and darken up that pink colour. So you just basically keep going back in with more ink and more colour if that's what you want to do. Back in with the deep red. And then I'm just going to get the clear. So you can use isopropyl alcohol if you want to um, but obviously I do like using the clear because it's obviously um, with the right brush and everything like that so this is basically just dispersing all of that colour a little bit more just to make it more that kind of watercolour effect And then obviously if you want to, you can just add a bit more colour if you want to and just keep playing with it as much as you possibly can or want to with all of these colours. Letting each part dry as well um, as much as you can and then you can go back in with your clear if you want just to disperse it a bit more. So once you've let all of that dry, I'm then going to grab my Give Me Strength to pop over the top. And 
And then just whilst that is wet, I'm just going to grab the Magpie gel brush and one of the new birthstone glitters. This is July. And all I want to do is just add a little bit of sparkle to the wet. Give me strength. So I just kind of want to dab it on in little bits and just kind of move it around. I sort of don't want to hide up all of that nice watercolour, but I just want to add a little bit of sparkle. And obviously because the Give Me Strength is wet, you can just move it around as much as you want to really. Just like that. So then I'm going to cure that in my lamp for 60 seconds. So then once that's been cured, I'm just going to put another coat of Give Me Strength over the top just to make sure that the glitter is fully encased, especially because the one that I've used is a metallic. Um, obviously, if you don't properly encase them, they can obviously um, go silver. Um, so it's just a nice generous layer of Give Me Strength over the top just to cover that glitter and I'm going to cure that in my lamp for 60 seconds. So and then finally I'm just going to get my Don't Tacky top coat just to completely finish off the design and obviously going to cure that in my lamp for 60 seconds. So and then there you have the finished look. So the great thing with the inkies is that you can do different marble effects. Obviously, um, the watercolour type of effect that you used to get with the Sharpie pens. Obviously, the thing with the Sharpie pens is they're not cosmetic grade. Um, so obviously, there's a bit of a iffy bit about using them, obviously, on nails, where obviously the inkies are designed um, for cosmetic use. They're alcohol-based ink, so that's why, obviously, they disperse the way that they do. Um, but it's just really fun to have a bit of a play around with these and obviously you can use the nail art brushes as well um, to create designs and stuff like that with them. Um, obviously I've just kind of done this watercolour-y type of effect just with three different colours but obviously you can use multiple colours. I've done that um, once before, like I've done a rainbow kind of effect with all of the colours. Um, and it was just a really fun kind of rainbow watercolour look. So um, I hope that you liked this tutorial, guys. It was highly requested, as I said. Um, so please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you all again soon.